Alright, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody uh, has had a good week-ish. It's been a while since I made another video. But today I decided I am going on a bit of a road trip and I don't know if you can see that in my mirror but I've got my paddle board with me so I thought I'll take a trip up to the Lake District with the bike and at the same time I'm gonna go paddle boarding it's a bit windy today so I don't know what to expect whether I'm gonna get blown around and, you know but we'll see when we get there it might even rain you never know so we'll have a look I've got my sat nav running uh, to a certain car park that I've used before um, when I go paddle boarding because I like paddle boarding it keeps you fit fit and healthy in the road so yeah here we go right ladies and gentlemen I don't know if you can hear me because it is probably very very loud in this helmet uh, with the sound but I thought I would do a quick video on my cruise control let me just quickly pass this car and yeah at the moment I'm on my way to the very not this junction but the very next junction good enough time just to activate cruise control cruise control is on and as you can see I don't have to worry about a thing I can just sit here now if you want to increase your cruise control you press the, the, this little button here where my thumb is press that forward and it will increment by miles an hour or you can pull it towards you and it will decrease the speed by miles an hour um, you know which is pretty good it's, it's, it's quite nice to have a cruise control especially if you're riding long distance that's when it makes a, a big difference anyway so far I'll just shout out right ladies and gentlemen I am um, just about to enter Windermere and I'm in Lake District I decided today is going to be a great day as you can tell <laughs> today's going to be a great day to take myself paddle boarding on my motorbike for the first time you know um, not not uh, because I want to carry weight in the back or anything like that or because I want to test out the bike on, on that because guess what this paddleboard weighs a lot less than the gear that I carry to work with me in the panniers in the suitcases and um, yeah so far I tell you what it, the, activating the cruise control is you know it's so nice because it keeps its speed regardless of what gear it's in well I keep it in, in six and like even now I still got so much power you know I, th this bike has got so much power so coming up hills and down the hills it keeps its speed it's really nice very comfortable and um, I, I've just put the, the suspension into to normal so you've got three different uh, modes you've got soft, normal and hard soft is like a cruiser bike that's you know a luxury bike in some way very similar to probably a gold wing or something um, hard is like a sport bike oh. Hopefully nobody drowned. Um, yeah, so it, it's it's amazing. Now the roads are slightly wet, and it looks like it's going to rain. Whether it is or not, I don't know. 
but I still got it in uh, the road mode rather than rain enduro or uh, what's the other one? Um, ah, no, I can't remember what the other one is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, actually. Why don't I just have a look? Where's my mode button? There's my mode button. Eyes on the road there. Come on. So road, dynamic, enduro and rain. That's that's your your choices that you've got with this. Which is quite nice if you wanna do off-roading and all that, you know, sort of things. So yeah, but I'm not too worried about that. Not yet. I don't have nobles on. And hopefully one day I'll be able to get some, you know, 70 30 tires. Basically 70% road tires, 30% off road. Do I know where I'm going? Yes, I do. This is Windermere, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very busy, touristy village. Um, on very hot summer's days, it's ram-packed. And when I say ram-packed, I mean... It, it, it's, yeah... People are searching for hours for uh, for park parking, car parking. You know, that's why it's always nice to have a bike. You can park it up literally almost everywhere. And I won't say the people here has got the best attitude to life. You know, they all might be friendly in some way, but if you're not from here. Uh, I won't say they are rude, but they are a bit on the ignorant side sometimes. Well, only the people I came across, so... But you now I've met quite a few nice people here as well, to be honest. But they're having to deal with a lot of people, especially a lot of tourists. You know, so I can understand the grumpiness. Problem for GS, but I wasn't going to go through it just for the sake of it. And oh yeah, the houses here, as a sign for sale, they are expensive. They are pricey, well pricey. Only because it's such a, a known location, you know, tourist destination, you know, they are well pricey. people here know these roads very well I'm sticking to the speed limit because because of people like that you know if I was going any faster I probably wouldn't have come to a standstill or I would have tried to come to a standstill slip and slide skid and then yeah got enough grooves in it for anything I could feel my tires gripping every single groove that it wants it goes from one to the other well, 
last thing you want to do is get into one of those. Reason being is, once you're in it <coughs> and your balance is off, you try to come off it or out of it and it grabs you back in, yeah, you're not easily coming back in. there three minutes away so That's Windermere for you. It's a marina, a little place where people do their boats, and then you've got hotels and whatnots, restaurants. We'll have a look at what the external uh, temperature is in a bit. I'm going to check what the I can guarantee at the moment, even though I can feel it, I don't know if it's just me being on this bike with the wind, but I reckon it's a bit chilly. And I bet that water is freezing. That's Windermere for you. <coughs> oh, a bunch of roadkill in the road. I'm still alive though. That's the other thing, this place is, as you can see, is cycle signs. This place is well known for, you know, motorbikes. <coughs> uh, for cyclists, sorry, not motorbikes. So, well, both, to be honest. So we're going to go to Longdale, Coniston, Keswick, that way. to find out
right ladies and gentlemen I am in the Lake District um, and as you can see the motorbike paddle board all I have to do now is get in the water go for a paddle once I've got changed that's real nice <laughs> 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a steamboat. <laughs> oh, it's fun out on the water, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm drifting again.